You see this list? This is our to buy list today. And you see this truck? Somebody's in the truck without their list. That's basically how this uh, build is going so far. <laughs> oh man, we're just beat. This is today's list. You got tomorrow's list. What about the black cock? That's on this one. <laughs> Just like that, we're back. Uh, we couldn't get everything we needed. Uh, we got some uh, caulking for the windows, and we're gonna do caulking on these holes and stuff, but I think what we're gonna do is take this little bristle thing and rough up some of this uh, rust here, and then we're gonna get a rust converter, neutralizer, which we gotta get in town. Well, the city is an hour away tomorrow. We're also picking up a max fan uh, just like the last one, so we'll put that where that little circular vent thing was, not the skylight. Um, but we're gonna put that in the front, panels on each side. We're gonna make it look good. We're gonna make it look like a million bucks. By the way, if anybody does want this thing for a million bucks, please inquire. <laughs> um, but on a serious note, yeah, we got uh, some other things to do. Uh, I'll check in with you guys in a minute, and uh, we'll let you know what we uh, decide to do. All right, now it's time to work. Today, like I said, I'm gonna clean up some of this. This guy is cleaning off some caulking. I have no idea if you can hear me or not. It's a little windy. And then, and then I'm gonna vacuum. progress here. This is like a uh, surface rust area and this is the same area after uh, using the uh, circular grind tool. Uh, I went through uh, both batteries and I did maybe uh, 10 square feet, 20 square feet. Not looking so good. How are you doing over there with a the corded one? Uh, great. It uh, never runs out of power. Uh, it's always got full power. You know, so can't really complain. Yeah, look at how clean these window sills are looking. The recock and put the uh, windows back in. We were also floating the idea that since the windows are out, now is a good time, could be a good time to get this whole thing painted professionally uh, with a nice clear coat and stuff like that. So we'll, I don't know, we'll see. Do you want to do it yourself by chance? I'm fine with that. If you can't find someone. spray, yeah. I don't know what I don't. I honestly don't know what it would cost to paint a bus. Have someone paint it versus doing it ourselves. I have seen people kind of DIY a spray painting thing. Uh, might be helpful for the build series. But uh, this is what's going on over here. Just a whole lot of cleaning up. between that huh so this was the rust that uh, we discovered it wasn't all that serious was it because just with a little uh, you know grinding with a uh, wheel this is uh, this is all come up there's no corrosion there is no um, chunking or flaking off or there's no gigantic pieces so this makes me really happy and uh, we'll treat this for rust uh, in the coming days as well. So besides getting it all clean and shiny like this, we'll put some stuff on there to neutralize it. And um, yeah, it's, it's a non-issue, basically. Look at this. That was all like dirty, rusty. Uh, worse than that, because that was with the drill. And this setup here does this, so much, much cleaner. Um, Okay, here, let's do a nice before. See that? Before. After. That's with the drill. And that's with the angle grinder. Whew, good morning. Nothing better than the sound of the generator, the smell of the gasoline, and uh, working on a school bus on a, I think it's Saturday. What is going on there? Go 
Dude, I told you I wanted the handicap door. What the heck's going on? Well, I decided I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got some uh, breaking news here. I know there were a couple people who said, oh yeah, keep the handicap door, you can turn it into whatever. Well, if anybody can guess what we're doing to this door, throw your comment in down below because I guarantee we're doing something that's never been done before and I'm not going to reveal what it is exactly right now. Any hints? Uh, I don't want to give any hints. <laughs> I'm having too much fun designing it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the possibilities are open, we should say. this now on top of the piece of angle iron which uh, Michael welded to that frame right there so let's see does anybody have a clue <laughs> what this is gonna be yet all right there we go there's an exterior view so what's going on we got a hole right there and we have a hole right there huh did rip out all of the stuff that was in the ceiling because we we're going to be redesigning the roof structure a bit. But you don't necessarily have to take these out in your bus conversion. We are because we're going to be doing something special with them. And that works. By the way, friends help out. Help friends out. No, no. <laughs> it's just deep. I know, but it's like ah, oh, it's going to get into my skin. I know. All right. Says <laughs> the guy who's like. Met, says the guy who's uh, doing. All the I got like metal nat work I got natural natural bug, re uh, bug repellent, man. It's like the uh, bugs are intense up here. Don't worry, you'll thank me later. What the heck are we doing over here? Oh, I didn't cut this side yet. Maybe it'll just break. Yeah, there we go. Well, what could that possibly be? What is going on here? <laughs> What is this? Well, I don't know. Oh, this is Ca this is Canada. Uh, Badge gave me this. He said it's uh, the Canadian way. So, My gosh. So Badge, when you watch this, know that I am actually wearing it uh, because you gave it to me. Wait, so let's get this straight, guys. Let's get this straight here. We have no emergency door, and we have no handicap door, or at least we have a handicap door with a high jump. I'm not really sure. What do you think? Is that a handicap door with a high jump? Are we making a high jump? Is this the Olympic bus? Possibly. I think that this just proves to people that just because you buy a bus with emergency doors and stuff, it doesn't mean you can't modify it and do something cool with it. We're not telling you what we're doing with it, but we're doing something cool with it. What on earth is going on here? What in tarnation is going on? <laughs> I huh. I kind of like, I'm changing my ideas now. I feel like I I'm think just... I know what you were about yeah, to say. I know. I, yep. I think, I'm, mm -hmm. I think I'm changing my mind. Yep, I don't know about that. Do you, do you guys smell what I'm cooking? Or what he's cooking? cooking. What's I don't gonna, know. What's going to be cooking right there? Man, the <laughs> possibilities are endless. I like this new idea. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I, I, we're, I I think we're on the same page. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, we're, we, we haven't even talked about what we just thought. We're just thinking the same thing. I mean, just look at that. Just look at what it could be. Oh, man. I know. I... What's going on over here? Trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Do what? Are we telling them? Oh, I'm doing something. <laughs> also, I'm not a big fan of uh, breathing in rust dust, but I'm gonna play with this thing and get some of this rust up. I guess it hurt more than, uh, than it looks, but I might have a piece of metal in me. Alright, now we got the uh, welder inside, and now we have a bar across. I think the bar was not across before. I don't think it was. I don't what, remember, honestly. What are we doing here? 
What on earth I, is going on? I don't even know. <laughs> um, Honestly, couldn't have uh, done this, done this without Michael's help. He's he knows how to weld. I don't. And also, big shout out and thanks to Badge for tracking down his old welder for us to borrow from his friend who bought it. So this is what we're looking like right now. I'm also knee deep in some uh, some Indian food. I'm gonna be cooking for us. It's not gonna be really great because we don't have three important ingredients. Ginger, garlic, and onions. And also cumin seeds. But it'll taste kind of like it because we got all the spices. Uh, made a little bit of progress here. Not a lot. This thing wasn't as good as that thing. But tomorrow we'll get that all buttoned up. Um, this is what we're looking like right now. What do you guys think? What is going on over here? Comment below. What is going on over there? Try and guess. That one, you, This one you might be able to guess. This one there's no way anybody's gonna really guess exactly what that is gonna be. Um, it's gonna be pretty cool though. It's gonna be the first time, I think the first one in a school bus, right? I've, I've never seen one in a school bus before, that's why I'm doing it. Yep. <laughs> so that is a hint, it's never been done before, but we are about to do it. All right, we're kinda all over the place today. This uh, mystery thing was accomplished. This over here was accomplished. Thanks to this fine gentleman right there. Hi. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see if I can get it through this hole. Oh, oh nice. Uh, we're putting in a uh, um, max fan right here, so. There we go. Got you guys back down here. Uh, basically, we did a, uh, a chalk line midpoint of the bus, which was kind of tricky because um, there's this point here where there's a hole above it. There's the light, which we realized the light was off true center of the bus. <laughs> so our chalk line was slightly off, but anyways, it was close enough. So we did that. We tested out the panels again with the, there it is, uh, Max fan. These things are great. Um, now we're just kind of prepping. And there's something else that we're gonna do up here. We're also not gonna reveal what that is yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to stick around for this, but crazy idea. something else is gonna go here. You guys are gonna be so stoked. We're doing some stuff that's never been done before on a school bus. As far as we know. As far as we know, true, as far as we know. So, we might wanna call Guinness Book of World Records, basically, and, and just let them know that we Exist? They may already be onto us already. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I don't know, man. We haven't revealed anything, so I don't know how they would know. True. However, that could have actually been that uh, UFO the other night. It really, you it, told could, about it, that? it could have not been the UFO. It could have been the Guinness Book of World Records coming in to spy on our project and see all the top secret things that we're doing. Because we are gonna break the internet. We're <laughs> breaking the internet. <laughs> we'll give you guys a little hint of what's going on. We have this handicap door. But, what did we do to it over there? And what's going on here? So, I expect a lot of guesses as to what we are up to here. Uh, brackets are off, all three. And something is happening out here in the countryside of Alberta, Canada. Mm -hmm.